So today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Walbro WA and WT series carburetor. Now sometimes this doesn't apply to all of them, but sometimes, I mean, you'll, you'll, 99% of the time this will work. That's what I'm saying. So what you'll need is a number two Phillips driver. Now I've already rebuilt this one, but I decided, hell, well, I, now that I know that everything's good to go, why not make a video? So. Now I am going to junk some, uh, junk a little couple of parts here, but nothing bad, nothing major. Now I have bought two sets or two packages of rebuild kits for the WA and WT series. And the first package, I really didn't even think about bothering to replace the, uh, those damn little welt plugs. So I decided to not replace them. So this is going to be uncut. So I kept them back, but I didn't, I didn't throw them out, but I didn't replace them. I didn't do anything with them. So I'm going to use those welt plugs. So basically what we're doing is just Everything I'm removing here is perfectly reusable, except for the Welch plug, which I will move, remove here in a minute. Flatten that out a bit, and it's perfectly reusable, that little filter. Now, oops. number two Phillips and an eighth inch flat. That's about all you ever need in these. So, welch plug is the tricky part. Now just, just do basic disassembly. Don't lose anything. Just do basic disassembly. So what you're going to do is get your 8 inch flat and your number 2 Phillips. Going to put your 8 inch flat on the welch plug and we're going to punch a big hole in it and use the, the Phillips as a hammer. So we don't kill the 8 inch flat driver handle and so we don't kill our hands so I've watched videos on how to do this a while back I've done like 20 or 30 rebuilds since then so yeah um, come on you little bummer This one's a tough one. There we go. So we just punch a hole and pry it out. That's all we do. Now that's junk. We just throw it somewhere. Throw it away, throw it somewhere, just do something with it. Don't don't keep it. Then we get a forney tip cleaner kit. File kit. Select our smaller file. Now, I've watched videos, and the Walbro says, Bayard kit number 500-500. Now, I'm serious about the number. I really am. That's their number for it. I said, fuck no. I have the same damn thing right in my shed, 10 feet away. And I paid about a dollar for it instead of, like, 30. So, fuck that. So, I have an entire rebuild kit here. It's, I, I'm not... I'm not going to use it though. I'm going to keep it for later. So, somewhere here I have another one with Walsh plugs. That's not the one. Okay, here's... Here's stuff just used... Or not used, but um, spare parts. That's what it is. It's literally just spare parts. Because this is what I did not use that came in those rebuild kits. About five of them. Now, 
I know a lot of people like to seal their welch plugs with fingernail polish or something like that. Don't do that no more, because most people run alcohol in their fuel, which, by the way, do not do. Do not run alcohol in your fuel. Do not use ethanol. Okay, now that welch plug will just pop right in. The ethanol will eat everything inside. That's the reason these diaphragms go bad. Ethanol. So we're going to get... I'll, I'll send you the link to this uh, uh, re, uh, toolkit that I have. Well, I'll not send it to you. I'll put it in the description. Then, yeah, I know I said number two Phillips. And, okay, I'll add to that. And tools that I put in the description. We'll get our double D driver. Which you'll find out if you click on to the link in the description. You'll find out what that is if you buy the kit. So, we'll get our double D driver, center it on the welch plug. Get our Phillips. Give this driver a couple little taps here and there. There we go. And that welch plug is not coming out again unless we pry it out with using brute force. See? Nice, huh? Now, sorry. I know there's another one right here. I tried removing that one time on another carburetor, and I fucked it up, fucked it up completely. I'm not removing that again. Ever. I'm not ever trying again. So, for reassembly. It's just opposite, and it's just reverse. You know. It's just the reverse of what we just did. So technically I should not have used this gasket. I should have used a different one. Let's see if I have one here. No. Oh well. Oh well. We'll get it later. This will work just fine. It'll work just fine nonetheless. Actually, no, it won't. Okay, so I will have to replace that. Okay, so I shall... Do so. There's one in here, I'm pretty sure. Here it is. There we go. That's the gasket we're using. Because of the primer bulb. With the primer bulb, you gotta use this here's different gasket. So, put that on there. Now, see this diaphragm? I've seen people who install the metal flap up. To y'all who are who did that, who are watching, I'm gonna say this right now. You are A, inexperienced, or B, an idiot, or C, an, ex an inexperienced idiot, okay? Metal flap goes down. Otherwise, you will destroy your brand new rebuild kit. I guarantee it. And one thing I did not do is I did not put the springs and stuff back in. So I need to do that. So this little spring, which I'm going to stretch a little bit. There we go. Then our big needle. Then our rocker arm. Now, remember that little dimple in the rocker arm goes down into that little spring. Holds that spring in place. There 
there's no need to buy any of Walbro's special tool kits just to install their rebuild kit. Okay, there's no need. Now, one thing I think I should mention. Now, I've never seen a video that showed how to adjust the metering needle. So you first start by prying it up a little bit so it's just above the highest point at the bottom of the carburetor body here, right here. Then you get your little screwdriver on edge, you push down, and if this needle pops up any, you need to push this downwards, you need to bend it downwards. But the needle for the rocker arm needs to be level with the highest point of the bottom of the body. If it doesn't quite lift, you're, you're in good shape. So now, if I tighten this up, I can now just reassemble diaphragms and prep. Metal flap down. Yes, there will be a little metal um, nipple sticking up here, but that don't matter. Now, these rebuild kits that I will put in the link do not have a primer bolt, so if you're doing a whole bunch of these, I'd recommend buying primer bolts, so I'll stick some of them some of them in the link too. I'll stick fuel line, primer bulbs, fuel filters, and the rebuild kits and the tool kits in the description. How about that? And this little pink flap under the primer bulb, don't need to worry about that unless it's broken. In which case, you might want to find your own rebuild kit. I've never had a use, or I've never had a need to though. Never. They've always been intact. Either that or the carburetor was totally fucked. So, if that's dead, chances are pretty good. The carburetor is pretty much dead also. So you might not want to just... If you see that little pink or black flapper under there, disintegrated, just buy a new carb. Now, on this side, we get our little fuel filter screen. We pop it in, push it down as far as we can with our finger. Then, we get our little screwdriver, and push it down the rest of the way. Now, this does not require brute force. It just requires about Less than half an ounce of force, which is about 14 grams for the everyone but an American, pretty much. Yeah, us Americans are a little fucked up like that, huh? We clung to our old ways. Then, we get our fuel pump diaphragm. Make sure it's clean. Then we get lined up. Now, these are all new parts, so don't just re reuse your old ones. These are brand new, okay? I rebuilt this carburetor prior to the video. Speed things up a bit. Now, the screw, as you might remember, goes towards the throttle. You start the screw. Now, I'm holding that throttle wide open. Otherwise, it's kind of difficult to get this plate on without a third hand, without a helping hand. Then, after that screw's kind of snug, we can let go. Then tighten that down pretty good, and you have a completely rebuilt carburetor. Perfectly good. Brand new. It is pretty much brand new. Clean it up as much as you want. I put this in the parts washer before I did this, so 
yeah that's a complete rebuild